timber sports. It's a mixture of six disciplines. There's three with an axe and three with saws. The fastest is the winner. It's exciting, fast, loud. When you see it, you'll want to see more. This is a stock saw discipline. We have to cut two discs off of this log. Stock saw, so it's completely out of the box as you buy from your local dealer. This line here is the 100 millimetre line that we've got from the judges. If we cross that line, we get disqualified. If you cut out and don't cut a complete cookie, you get disqualified as well. It is kind of like by milliseconds on this event, so it's a real make or break event, definitely. This is the underhand discipline. First of all, you mark your log up. There are lines to sort of go by. And then once you've done that, you can mark where you want your footholds to come. Three, two, one, go! You stand on top of the log, cut half of the log from the one side, turn and finish the other half off from the other side. A lot of practice goes into it, yeah. In this discipline, you cut one disc off in the quickest time possible. These are six foot long, and this one has three pegs. There's a lot of technique involved, you know, you've got to learn how to use the whole body to get maximum power and speed. This is a hot saw event, so basically you've got 150 mil to cut three perfect cookies. Obviously it's the quickest time. Well, this particular engine is a Rotax 250, which they used to race gold cats with, you know. Pretty much really, as long as it's within the safety standards, you start it uh, manually, it's good. This is called a standing block event. It's where you've got a vertical mounted piece of timber, which you cut half from both sides and it imitates felling a tree. Accuracy is the main thing. Once you can master that, try and apply the power and the speed. You're always working on the technique, you know, you can always improve it. This event here is called the springboard. Like the standing block, there's a log stood vertically, but this time it's up and nine foot in the air. Um, so what you do is you put a pocket in the bottom, you put the board in, you then stand on that board, cut a second pocket, put the board in, and then proceed to cut the log on top. Just having the confidence to get up there, to stand back on the board, that's the main thing. Looking forward to the World Championships this year. There's some tough competition, definitely, but we're on home ground, so it's, uh, it's going to be good. There's a bit of luck and a good win behind us, so we'll do all right. <laughs> <laughs>